late. I am Ben Mankiewicz filling in for Robert Osborne who has the evening off. As you watch our Star of the Month salute to Melvin Douglas every Wednesday in Prime this month, you're going to see him in a wide range of roles. Douglas was one of the few actors of his generation who had great success as a leading man in his youth, but even greater success as a character actor as he aged. It was a transition he was quite happy to make, by the way. As a leading man, Douglas shared the screen with some of the great actresses of the golden age of Hollywood. Women like Claudette Colbert, Barbara Stanwyck, Rosalind Russell, Myrna Loy, Marlena Dietrich, and Greta Garbo. Up next, we have Melvin Douglas opposite one of his most frequent collaborators, Joan Crawford, with whom he made four films. Ours is the third of that quartet. From 1941, it's A Woman's Face. It's the story of a woman whose face has been scarred since she was a young girl. She was ridiculed as a child ultimately turning to a life of crime, eventually ending up connected to a murder and blackmail plot with a particularly nefarious character played by Conrad Veidt. But along the way, she meets Melvin Douglas, a plastic surgeon who can help her. But will a new face turn her into a better person? The story is told in flashbacks during Crawford's trial, but you don't know her crime until the end of the movie. Much has been made of Crawford's vanity over the years, but she had no qualms about looking the part in a woman's face because she knew it was critical to the film's success, applying lessons she'd learned from working with silent screen great Lon Chaney. Director George Cukor found the disfigured character riveting. Producer Louis B. Mayer, on the other hand, refused to allow any publicity shots of the scarred portion of Crawford's face. From 1941, here's our star of the month, Melvin Douglas, in a woman's face. Thank you. 